Hello my scrappy friends, it is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for a Kidaholics Kits Design Team Layout. I started with the super fun triangle page from Vicky Booten and I cut all the triangles out, distressed the edges and put some backstitching all the way around the edges using DMC black floss just to give it a bit of a contrast, bit of interest, bit of something something. Um, really loved the way it just helped those triangles to pop. I am now just adhering the triangles back down again. A little bit of a different configuration to how they came in the original paper. But nonetheless, super cute little triangles. I have two photos for this layout. One being a vertical and one being a horizontal. Nearly all of my photos are vertical. I barely use horizontal photos, but there is sometimes a need for them I suppose. Um, it stems from the days when I did Project Life and it was easier to fit more photos on a page if you put them all vertically in a three by four vertically. So that's where that came from. And then the habit just stuck I guess. Um, just using up I kind of made these two extra little triangles. They weren't originally part of the Vicky Booten paper. You can see there are some scrap paper off to the right-hand side of the uh, of the desk there where my scissors are. Um, and they're just some of the leftover scrap of that paper. The orange floral flower that you can see there on the back is absolutely beautiful and I only put that little teeny tiny flower on of it, but I loved that paper. So I might even try and use some of the little scraps for something else on another layout in the future. Uh, I don't always keep little tiny bits of scrap like that, but when the paper's just so pretty, it's hard to pass it up. Just trying to figure out where I want to put this last orange triangle. I kind of don't want to overlap them too much. I adore that teal colour, so I want it to have its own little pop. But I knew I didn't want to spread these triangles out too far because I had the horizontal photo to put over here. In the end, I finally found somewhere. Now I've got these last little triangles to pop down again, one on either side, kind of mirroring um the top with the bottom here with that one and then the florally triangle and it's of course going to go on the other side tucked under the photo just to kind of have them similar the top half similar to the bottom half now that that is done i'm going to work on my clusters I started by chopping one of the beautiful ephemera flowers in half and i'm going to make a matching um embellishment here and on the other triangles at the top as well so it's got a half a little flower because tucked under um, one of those black and gold leaves and then one of those beautiful vellum daisies and I'm just going to do the exact same in the top half as well with the other half of the flower then my main clusters are going to be a layering of a whole bunch of different pieces I started with a vellum piece uh, like a sprig and now I'm having and then I put on a holographic piece and now an acetate piece just kind of layering it all up a little holographic acetate flower followed by a vellum flower just layering it all up and I haven't really adhered it very well because I love the look of the texture of those flowers when all the sprigs when the leaves and things aren't all completely stuck down I like that they kind of pop out and pop up and have their own little bits of dimension <clears throat> it will be a little bit different when they're inside a pocket but I do love the way it looks now I'm just doing that as I said same sort of copy of that little cluster over on that side and now this main piece is got a vellum first then a second vellum and now an acetate and then this one, I'm going to pop down the vellum butterfly, just sticking it in the middle so I can bend the wings up a little, bend, bend. But I decided to double layer the butterfly. And I'm also going to pop the acetate butterfly in as well. And I also just bent those wings up too, just again to give that dimension. I know inside the 
plastic pocket they'll get squashed down but it looks really beautiful for now I then pulled out the thickest we got in the last Vicky Booten kit we got a few months back I just really love the gold and the font of these I think it works really well with my particular layout this is 100 days of school that is why my photos are all covered they are pictures of Tom and his other kids in his class they are celebrating having attended school for 100 days which is super super cute a lot of schools in Australia do this I think a lot of schools everywhere do this actually um, sometimes we get them to dress up like little old men and little old ladies like they're 100 years old um, at Tom's school in particular it's a bit of a not a free choice but like you the theme is up to you so Tom wasn't really interested in being an old man uh, so I made him a jumper that said I've been bugging my teacher for a hundred days and I hand sewed a whole bunch of plastic bugs all over it uh, not an original idea thank you Pinterest for that uh, but it was super cute and super fun I finished off the layout with some splatters. Um, looking at it now, I want to go and get those mirror pieces and put some of those mirror pieces on this layout as well. But I haven't done that yet and the video is over. So I will probably do that just for myself and pop it in my album later. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you all next week with my next layout.